in Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, is returning to power for a record sixth time as his government is sworn in this morning. His recent election victory led to the creation of a government that includes ultra-nationalists and religious parties that were once on the fringes of Israeli politics. Remy Nocencio is tracking developments from London. Remy, good morning. Good morning, Adriana. That's right. This is being described as Israel's most far-right government since the country was established back in 1948. Critics say this is potentially the most intolerant and the most insular. And that's because Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, in order to form a governing coalition, has now aligned himself with nationalist and orthodox parties targeting Palestinians, Jews who are non-orthodox, women to prevent them from serving in the military alongside men, and the LGBT. Community. Now, for the U.S., there are major political and cultural considerations. Mr. Netanyahu's party has already vowed to expand Jewish settlements in disputed regions. That includes the West Bank, and the White House has voiced opposition to this because the West Bank is seen as a territorial core, if you will, for a future Palestinian state. And then from a religious perspective, most American Jews are in fact non-Orthodox, so Israel's new government is on track to cause a schism in that vein. All that likely to drive more tension between the two countries as Israel's government veers further to the right. That is expected to last a full term, and that is the next four years. Adriana. Ramey, great context. Thank you.